Hey guys, Shycups Fan 14 John here, bringing you some gameplay from Ghost, like everybody else. Been a while since I uploaded anything, so uh, prison break here. I'm playing Cranked. I have the K7 with a uh, iron sights, and I'm running a bunch of uh, perks on it. I don't even know what they are: sleight of hand, agility, off the grid, those types of things. So thought I'd weigh in. Everybody's putting up videos, all the regular commentators putting up a huge video showing what's going on. I will tell you this, uh, after playing for about a week now, I got it on launch day. <clears throat> Didn't play it quite that much because I had to work the first week that it was out. I worked Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday nights. But I got a chance to play this weekend. Um, I enjoy this game. Some of the maps are a little big uh, in Cranked or in TDM. Stonehenge or whatever the castle map is, is, is huge. And uh, that sovereign one is gigantic. But uh, overall, um, the flow of the map seemed to be pretty good. Uh, in some of the games, the spawning system is terrible. But uh, I think that I, I enjoy it. Uh, I just have to say, I'm a, I'm a COD fan boy. I, I enjoy the game. When they bring out the next one, I'll buy it. I'll play it. I'm looking forward to Titanfall coming out. But uh, I was looking forward to this coming out. And for the week that it's been out, I've really enjoyed it. Seems like the weapons are pretty balanced. Um, I have trouble with some of the guns. It seems like I get killed super easy, which a lot of people have said, you know, you have to shoot somebody six or seven times, but it seems like you die with one bullet. But overall, I think that it's fairly balanced. I think that they did a, a pretty good job. I think that it's a true pick 10 system. I really like the fact that you can give up some things and, and get more perks. Um, I don't necessarily use the flashbangs or the hand grenades that much, so I get rid of those and it gives me a chance. With this particular setup, I've been running that IED, which is pretty uh, good. Until people start running sit rep and can see where they're at, I think that uh, it's going to be a pretty effective tool. But overall, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. I think that uh, it'll look better on Xbox One. I'm waiting for that to come out. I'm posting this on Thursday night. I already got my PS4. It arrived in the mail today from Amazon. So my PS4 came. Unfortunately, I have to go to work tonight. So I won't get a chance to set the PS4 up until tomorrow. But I did get it the day before it was available in the store so that's pretty exciting i'm hoping that uh, it lives up to everything that it's supposed to be and then next week will be the xbox one so hopefully all of the stuff that i've done on ghost in the 360 will transfer over like they said i've already got my my uh, account set up and i'm ready to go but i'm kind of curious what everybody else thinks about the game i know that <clears throat> i've lent my opinion about snipers in the game and hit markers and those types of things in the past I'm not playing with nearly as many snipers as um, I used to in Blops Deuce. It seems like there are less snipers in this game. On the bigger maps, obviously, there are more snipers because there's more places to sit out. And I would say that the bigger maps lend themselves to people camping a little bit more. In this particular gameplay of Cranked, it's impossible to sit in a corner and wait for somebody to come by because you're going to blow up, which... In this game, quite a few of my deaths are like that. I get blown up because I can't find anybody to kill. I'm running around like a maniac trying to get somebody before my timer goes off. But uh, I played for some free-for-all, and I played some team deathmatch. So, like I said, overall, I, I think that it's a, a good game. It's This isn't a review. These are just my first impressions. I think they need to work with the spawning system. I think that they uh, need to work with some of the hit, hit markers or the, uh, the weights of the guns. I don't think that... Uh, anything is too OP right now. Some of the shotguns, some of the deaths that I had by the shotguns are a little suspicious. But overall, like I said, pretty happy with this game. I think even if it sucked, I'd play it anyway. I know that some of the other commentators are all like, well, I don't play it. You know, I play it when it comes out, but I don't enjoy playing it. And I just put up videos. I, I always enjoy playing COD. I'm not very good at it. But, you know, I think that uh, Infinity Ward made an improvement this time. I think it's a step up from the last couple. Obviously, it's not as good as going all the way back to MW2. I don't think they'll ever replicate that or COD4, but <clears throat> this is, this is like I said, good game. Enough said about that. So my plans uh, in the future here, uh, my wife and I have uh, bought a bigger house because uh, I have my parents living with me now along with the three-year-old twins and my 12-year-old stepson. So uh, in the next couple days here, I'm going to be signing off and getting a bigger house so I can accommodate my seven-person family. So we'll be moving into a new house. Hopefully, I'll get an office in that new house so I can put up some more videos. 
I appreciate everybody's support. I can't believe that I have 100,000 views and 300 subscribers. I just want to thank everybody for all the support. Hopefully uh, you like the videos. If you have any suggestions or comments, put them down there. I try to answer everybody. And uh, once again, hopefully I'll get some more videos up. We're going to be moving, but we'll get everything taken care of. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them below. Thanks a lot for your time, and you guys have fun with the new game.